evening. This is George McKenzie reporting from the Texas Open at Oak Hills, where rain was the story, the whole story, and nothing but the story today. The gallery control marshals definitely didn't need their quiet signs. There was no gallery to keep quiet, unless it was in the press tent where the gallery had its mind more on football than on golf. And about the only bustle came from the pro shop where there was a run on, what else, umbrellas. Golfers like Ben Crenshaw and John Mahaffey waited it out at the restaurant. It's boring if you really want to know the truth because you don't know what you're going to do. Have you ever seen it worse than this? No, I haven't. Not since, uh, I can't recall any of the tournaments that have been this bad. And just how bad was it? Bad enough that sand traps turn into water hazards and water hazards turn into small lakes. And while some people were able to keep a sense of humor about the rain, others could not. It stinks! Finally, about 3 o'clock, without so much as a shot being fired, the decision came. The fairways are unplayable. There's just no way. It's just like a river out there. Which means Jody Mudd still leads it with part of the third round left. He and the golfers who are chasing him will be out here tomorrow, and if they can't squeeze in the third round tomorrow, it might go on as late as Tuesday. Regardless of what happens, of course, we'll be out here to cover it for you, but as for today, there's nothing left for me to do except maybe take full advantage of the situation at hand. Randy Sparaghi, by the way, will be along with the rest of today's sports news in just a moment, but for now, George McKenzie reporting from the Texas Open at Oak Hills for News 4 Sports.